give us kind of the scouting report on Mikola and why contenders are itching to get this guy. Yeah, I would say a defensive defenseman is a really fair way to put it. I think he's sort of the ideal third pair defenseman. He's not going to wow you in any one category of his game. He's not, you know, super overly physical. He's not a great puck mover. But he's steady, he's predictable, and those are things that you want if you're on a coaching staff for a team that's heading into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Is if you've got a deficiency or a weakness in your third pair, that that's the type of guy that you'd like to plug in. He has a little bit of size, he has uh, just a little bit of playoff experience on his resume that I think helps as well. And he's sort of one of those understated um, guy that's not gonna be generating a ton of buzz and attention, but I think one of those under the radar candidates to be adding to your team and as a pending UFA at a very low contract hit uh, 1.9 million that he's in a spot where not going to hurt you acquisition cost wise he's not going to hurt you on the cap they say when you get to the Stanley Cup playoffs you can never have too many defensemen and I would put Nico Mikola in that category as to me I think the St. Louis Blues are the team to watch over the next days and weeks because I believe their GM Doug Armstrong is getting antsy they headed into the break, they lost five straight. They were in a spot where I think he wants to shake things up. And so you've got a ton of guys that could potentially be on the move. Ryan O'Reilly, Ivan Barbashev, Vladimir Tarasenko, Noel Achari is gonna be added to our trade targets board on Friday. And Nico Mikola is a guy that, I don't know, I think he could do worse than pick up him on the back end. 1.9 million, you keep half of that, all of a sudden every contender in the league can squeeze him in if you take a contract back. Is there any team in particular or a couple of teams that you look at and go, those are the guys, those are the GMs who will be hunting hard for him? Yeah, I could see him being a lowercase fit in Edmonton. Okay. Uh, maybe not a super sexy pickup like we were just talking about. But name a contending team and I think almost yeah. everyone can use this guy in your five, six, seven spot.